I guess. Hey guys, I was looking over the script and I have some ideas how we could start the show. Princess Jamea, what have the producers sent us? The script. Time to say goodbye, J A M A I C A M U N O C. So, what do you guys think? No. Maybe. Hey guys, thanks for joining us, and welcome to another edition of the Social Media Roundup. To start things off, we have this post by Travel Tips with Ava. This young girl isn't letting big words stop her from jotting down what she hears. She says, can't spell? No problem. Take notes and worship anyways. Look at what she wrote. Nothing is impossible when we live with our Lord God. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> okay. Okay. Up next, take a look at the Instagram of Marcy Fescola. She has shared some awesome artwork, including this one of the Mountain View Chapel. And if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to watch the latest episode of Blueprint, which is about the renovation of the Mountain View Chapel. It's nearing summertime, which means a few of you may be graduating from school, just like Charlene Francisco, who had this quote. If I had a dime for every time I turned down an invite to something for church in the last four years, I'd be a millionaire. Great quote, Charlene, and congratulations on your achievement. On May 29, the District of Southwest California held a Unity Games event, and it was a great way for a lot of people to catch up with others from around the district. Here's what Eric Hayes had to say about the event. It's always a blessing reuniting and competing with my brothers and sisters. Every time I come to these district events, my family only continues to grow. Now, they weren't the only ones who had Unity Games. Over in Southern Midwest, they started their Unity Games with bowling, followed by basketball and volleyball. And we're going to stay with Southern Midwest District for a bit and give them a shout out for their Facebook page. Be sure to follow it if you want to keep updated with all the activities of SMW, like their multimedia workshop and seminar, for example. Thank you, SMW, for keeping us all updated and we'll be taking a look at more Facebook pages in the future episodes, so keep them updated. With the church being in over 100 countries around the world, it's important to be able to communicate with as many people as possible, which is why Jerry Bartolome is so excited to share the very first full German edition of the God's Message magazine. And that leads us to our last story and this week's featured I Just Shared My Faith post, which comes to us by RJ Rodriguez. Listen to his story. My Uber passenger Gloria was so intrigued that I shared about the Iglesia de Cristo. She was so amazed to learn what happened to the first century Church of Christ after the death of the Apostles and where that same Church of Christ would re-emerge from. She will be calling me to attend in our faith. That is so cool and be sure to watch RJ's story on Stories of Faith. We'll put a link to it right over there. If you'd like to see the post featured in this episode, we have links in the description box below. Now that's all the time we have for you this week. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and leave us a comment down below. Be sure to use the hashtags Iglesia de Cristo and INT Media News in your social media posts for a chance to be featured on the show. Be sure to also follow us on our accounts listed below. I'm Jamaica. Farewell. I feel like awesome makes it saucier. Anyway. <laughs>